This Diz Fairs episode is all about... Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Just as Moana means ocean or large expanse of water in Maori, hey, hey bluntly means chicken. In fact, when Maui shapeshifts into a chicken, he looks almost exactly like hey, hey, but understandably bigger. Obviously, hey, hey is technically a rooster, more specifically a bantam rooster, which are about two thirds the size and are generally a bit easier to control than typical roosters. Hey Hey is perhaps the most original character to come out of animation in more than a generation. As far as sidekicks go, he's unconventional in an age where unconventional sidekicks are the norm. A truly impressive feat. And it's hard not to like him. There's something endearing about the senseless vacant stare that goes beyond words. He's just pitiful and yet hilarious, subverting all expectations so well that we as the audience believe Pua is going to be more on his sidekick, and Hey Hey is merely comic relief, flipping all assumptions on their heads. In the very beginnings, Pua and Hey Hey were based on the directors of Moana, Ron Clements and John Musker. Pua represents Clements, Hey Hey on John Musker. Like I said, at least initially, the characters took on a life of their own in subsequent scripts. For five long years, since the movie's very inception, Hey Hey was in every Moana script. He was originally designed to be Tui's sidekick and served as a sort of looming parental shadow over Moana during her journey, like Sebastian in The Little Mermaid. This Hey Hey was supposed to be loyal, at least to Chief Tui, and cantankerous, as well as aggressive and incredibly proud, much like what you would imagine a rooster to be. These traits were intended to lend themselves to comedy, which we'll dive into in just a bit. But apparently, this version of Hey Hey, I imagine, was going to be as intelligent as, say, Abu or Pascal. And since I mentioned Chief Tui, let me just add that he was voiced by Temuera Morrison, who, if you don't already know, is Django Fett, meaning he's also the adult Boba Fett, meaning he's every clone trooper in the Star Wars universe. To put it bluntly, Hey Hey was an absolute jerk, brimming with attitude. I couldn't find anything to suggest Hey Hey ever actually spoke, but he apparently found ways to be needlessly and outright mean, and not just to Moana. Audiences who witnessed animation tests of this Hey Hey repeatedly groaned as he stole food from Pua. This Hey Hey just wasn't working for the film. He didn't resonate with audiences, and his angry face really didn't resonate with the Disney brand. I kind of wonder if the teams were trying to do a modern take on Grumpy from the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. But unlike Grumpy, this bellicose Hey Hey didn't have the proper balance of a Grumpy character. With only four months left for animation production, John Lasseter put Hey Hey on a chopping block to be axed from the film and assembled a team to ultimately decide the foul's fate. Oh, she's a foul foul. <laughs> David Derrick. Derek, uh. who was the story artist, which is an artist who creates the first vision for a scene from a script, faithfully got sick for two days, giving Lasseter's story team the time they desperately needed to reimagine the character of Hey Hey. Deciding, in the words of Ron Clements, again, he was one of the directors, to be what might be the stupidest character in the history of Disney animation. I should also add that before David Derrick got sick, he is said to have been 99.9% .9 certain Hey Hey was Dunzo. Hey Tom, you want to come play putt putt with me? No, we're Dunzo. Uh, according to legend, the team brought their pitch to Lasseter, where the studio had been temporarily relocated to a warehouse in Tahunga, California. It's Tahunga! In the coldest room apparently imaginable, Lasseter skeptically looked on as he was presented with a concept scene involving the heart of Tafiti falling before Hei Hei's feet, only for the chicken to obliviously pluck it up and swallow it whole. Lasseter is then said to have risen to his feet and proclaimed Hei Hei to be spared, resulting in this inside joke. Hmm? The chicken lives. The studio then ironically celebrated by purchasing Kentucky Fried Chicken for all of those involved in saving the bird. This tidbit detail isn't merely legend. It's validated and absolutely true. And that's how Hey Hey went from possibly being the worst Disney sidekick to one of the bestest. 
This huge character change was not easy on the teams who spent weeks altering the film for Hey Hey, but it was unanimously agreed that the change was a serious improvement. Test audiences with the Hey Hey we know today were a resounding success. Hey Hey was voiced by Alan Ray Tudyk. Who also incidentally voiced the Duke of Weaselton. Uh, Weaselton! King Candy. <laughs> I'm King Candy! Alistair Cray. Hmm. Extraordinary. Travis. And I ain't talking, rabbit. And Tuk Tuk. <laughs> Side note. He's also the voice of K2SO in Rogue One. Are you talking about me? And if the Matanui Islander who suggests eating Hey Hey upset you at all, I should double also note that the voice was also Alan Ray Tudyk. Should we maybe just cook him? If you find it weird that the chicken noises were recorded by a human, I'll point out that this has been done for ages. All of the dog barks in 101 Dalmatians were also done by humans. Yes, he is semi-mindless, but Hey Hey serves as a lift in parts of the story that may otherwise lag. He serves as comic relief, puts Moana in trying positions, further pushing her character development, and at times pushes the actual story. Because of Hey Hey's limited intelligence, the writers made sure a lot of what he does in the movie contains symbolism. Upon hearing this, you may go, Uh-huh, yeah, right. Whoop! But give me a chance to explain. The first time we see Hey Hey, he has a coconut on his head, indicative that the islanders are blind to what's happening to the island. There's also the foreshadowing of Moana removing the coconut, opening the world to him as she will do for her people. This is where the symbolism ends, though. His tripping afterward is just to reveal his low intelligence. However... Moana saving Hei Hei in general can be considered symbolism of her working to save her people. And you may not have noticed, but yeah, this is Moana putting Hei Hei in her mouth as a means of rescuing him. Hei Hei pecks at a rock. The rock is supposed to symbolize the island. The people, like Hei Hei, are toiling at the rock, the island. Hei Hei tries to eat the rock, but can't. Just like the people on the island are trying to make food from the island but can't. Even though there is food right in front of Hei Hei, if only he searched his immediate area. Just like the people are unwilling to look beyond their immediate island for food. It's a subtle nod to the isolationism and desperation taking place. Hei Hei is again wearing a coconut on the boat, so he doesn't understand his predicament. He wears a coconut more than a few times in the film. Again, representing the people of Matanui. A lot like Chief Tui, speaking of destroying the ships, wanting to turn a blind eye to leaving the island. Hey Hey, faring into the water is much like what all the islanders believe would happen if they left the island. They believe they would die, even though all involved should be able to swim. When Maui first interacts with Hey Hey, the demigod had just literally explained how he helped humans over the ages. Hey Hey is literally pecking away at nothing, and... Maui gives him a helpful nudge. Another subtle symbolism is Hei Hei later on eating while Maui is nearby. Maui leaves, and Hei Hei is back at pecking at nothing. The connection between Maui, Hei Hei, and sustenance is pretty strong. The final symbolism is when Moana returns. Everybody is happy, and meanwhile Hei Hei is getting off the boat from the long adventure just to go ahead and walk right back out into the water. Outright symbolizing the islanders of Matanui are now excited about venturing into the ocean. All of this symbolism subverts Hei Hei's lack of intelligence to audiences. A powerful character, disguised as a fool so well even he doesn't understand it. Just an FYI, Hei Hei has appearances in Ralph Breaks the Internet. And in Rhea and the Last Dragon. I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned some awesome, super fun stuff about Hey Hey. Maybe it makes you want to go watch the movie, have some popcorn, get some barbecue or something. I don't know. Anyway, Diz Fairers out. Mm -hmm.